Animated gobos, what are they? So I see them as a filters on your light, so they can be black and white textures. Um, they're usually black and white, or they can also be colored. So this can achieve really nice effect like this one, right? And we're gonna learn how to make them quickly in After Effects, and we're also going to look how to build a scene you just saw in the video, how to make the rotating rocks and then shine with spotlight and using animated gobos to just kind of create that weird disco effect. Just joking. Let's go. I'm gonna start by um, bringing that male guy, uh, male puppet. Yes. So I like how the browser browser is fast now. And that puppet, I'm just gonna bring into the connect, and I'm just gonna press C, make it editable. So I just have one object, one single object, and probably delete that material and delete. I don't know what this is, and you know, keep the weight. Okay, I'm just gonna put redshift material on it just so it works better with our scene and maybe make that character a little bit more white. Uh, I can also change the axis and now I can rotate it by chest. So I'm just gonna do something like this, nothing special. And then I need plane and I'm just gonna make it bigger and then hold control, copy that over, rotate it rotate it 180, then hold control, rotate it again. So I have 90, press E, just push it back. And that's the basic scene created. Maybe the male should be a little bit smaller, just so it feels. And then we're gonna create the torus and just bring it up. I'm just gonna make it something like that. Cool. Yeah, I think I put the torus into inside. I'm just not gonna bother with that now. And I'm gonna bring um, spotlight. So the spotlight, uh, it's pointing towards the wall, but I'm just gonna make it pointing downward. So 90 degrees down, just bring it up. That's intersecting. And go to that spotlight and increase the cone angle a little. Yeah. So I'm just gonna have a look at it. So this one, this is what we have so far. I'm just gonna go to Insidium, uh, bring rock. You can bring rock from uh, bridge, whatever, and just make it larger and give it some crazy shape and press C. And then this rock, I'm gonna put it into XP shutter. Okay, I'll click, so XP shutter, so it made it into 40. I say I want a 60 points. So there's gonna be 60 fragments. I'm gonna press C, make it editable. And now I have a 60 fragments of that rock in that folder. So I'm just gonna bring the cloner, highlight all the fragments, holding shift and moving to the cloner. So now I have it in the cloner and I go into the cloner and change it to radial. And I'm just gonna make it to those 60 that we agreed upon. So I have the 60, make the radius larger and then bring the cloner up. Now I'm just gonna bring a random object uh, while cloner was highlighted, and, and I'm just gonna manipulate these rocks even further so I can just move them around and I can make sure they're not intersecting for our scene. Okay, so something like that. And then I can uh, rotate them as well, and I can animate this. Right, so it's rotating. So this is what you saw in that scene. But uh, I'm gonna make the, make this probably even the radius even larger so I can see my subject. And then I can go into that spotlight and this is where the magic happens. So uh, in the spotlight, there is a texture and you can uh, load in the texture and you probably know that already, but you know, to create these, it's actually really easy so I, I uh, you can use one of the one of the from the pack fractal noise and it will load the first one so you probably need to bump exposure to get some more light and you you see that textures immediately is been true so when, when there is a black there's no light and then you know the 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 values are basically um, coming through um, whatever <laughs> so I'm, I make the exposure even larger and then I can increase the cone angle right and the best thing about this if I click on that texture if I click this little arrow so if you can't see that you click this little arrow next to that texture 
I don't know why this is not so, this is not obvious really like uh, it took me a long time to discover that and then go into animation and you change mode to simple and you detect all the frames and it will detect the frames for you you can change the frame to 24 depending on your scene and depending on um, on the on the texture and as you can see the light is are moving around the scene and now you can just play with um, basically the fall off angle and you know the cone angle you can make it like really large and and then just going to push it down just so to kind of disconnect i would say this one Okay, so I wanted to show you how to quickly um, make this in After Effects. So you go create new composition and then press Ctrl Y and that will bring black solid uh, option. So you can just enter it and it will create black solid. And onto that black solid, we just gonna drag fractal noise. So you can type in into effects and preset fractal noise. Now it's just about uh, dialing it in. So we have multiple options here like terrain, right uh, dynamic you know, dynamic looking quite good and then we can um, just kind of fine-tune the contrast and reduce the brightness just to create the map like that and then by uh, animating the evolution so we go a couple steps forward and we say hey rotate three times uh, or twice twice is enough and now it's animated and then if you want to take it further then you can just uh, put it into composition so you right click the solid layer you pre-compose move all attributes it's just composition duration to part of the layers so that's all good and now you can apply to it uh, chromatic displacement for example um, it didn't work for some reason on the but this will create some real spice if you if you, if you see this um, then we doing it <laughs> anyway guys i hope you I hope, I hope this sparked some inspiration and let me know what you guys create with it you can head to my camera road and download the six pack that i created because i don't have the other six pack have a good one and see you in the next one